Hello guys and welcome back to another video and we're back to the Keystone Highlight series which aims to cover many of Path of Exile's Keystone passive skills and discuss their mechanics and interactions and their use case in various builds and you can find the full series right here and this Keystone Highlight is all about Lethe Shade. This is another one of the more recently added Keystone passives and this one was added as part of the defensive systems overhaul in patch 3.16 and it's located on the core passive tree at the top right of the tree close to the shadow starting point so lethe shade has two modifiers take 50 percent less damage over time if you've started taking damage over time in the past second and 100 percent more duration of ailments on you now this keystone was added to the passive tree to provide some defensive options for right side builds against damage over time as these builds often lack access to stats like regeneration. Let's take a look at the downside of Lethe Shade first. 100% more duration of ailments on you. This modifier is essentially going to double the duration of ailments that are inflicted on you by default. And this is not limited to damaging ailments either. It works on all ailments. There are currently 9 ailments in the game. These are made up of 3 damaging ailments, Poison, Ignite and Bleed, and 6 non-damaging ailments, Scorch, Sap, Brittle, Chill, Freeze and Shock. Bleed and Poison are the only ailments that are not classified as elemental ailments. The other 7 ailments are all classified as elemental ailments. Each ailment has a default base duration, which can be modified with relevant modifiers to ailment duration, which can appear on both the entity inflicting an ailment and the entity receiving the ailment. Bleeding has a base duration of 5 seconds. Ignite, Scorch, Brittle and Sap have base durations of 4 seconds. Poison, Chill and Shock have base durations of 2 seconds and the duration of freeze is based on the damage taken from the hit and the receiving entity's ailment threshold. The minimum base duration for freeze is 0.3 seconds and the maximum base duration for freeze is 3 seconds. Relevant modifiers to ailment duration will be applied to the duration of the ailment when it's applied. For example, you can explode a remnant in Expedition Encounters which grants the monsters a modifier which increases their Ignite duration by 100%. These monsters would then inflict a 4 second base duration Ignite increased up to 8 seconds by this modifier. If the character receiving the Ignite had Lethe Shade allocated, this Ignite would then have a duration of 16 seconds. The character can also have other modifiers which impact the duration of ailments inflicted on them. For example, the Aberath Pantheon has the modifier which grants 60% less duration of Ignite on you. This modifier would multiply with Lethe Shades modifier before being applied. So using the previous example, the monster would inflict a 4 second base duration Ignite increased up to 8 seconds with the 100% increased duration modifier from the exploded expedition remnant, then Lethe Shade's 100% more duration of ailments on you would be multiplied with the Aberath Pantheon 60% less duration of Ignite, and applied resulting in a 6.4 second Ignite inflicted on the character. Any relevant modifiers to reduced or increased duration of ailments on you that the character has, such as the one on the Anointed Flesh Notable which reduces elemental ailments on you by 20%, will also be applied. These modifiers are additive with any other increases or decreases. Using the same example again, the monster inflicts an Ignite with a base duration of 4 seconds. The monster's 100% increased Ignite Duration modifier is additive with the character's 20% reduced Elemental Ailment Duration on you modifier from Anointed Flesh. So the 4 second Ignite is increased by 80% up to 7.2 seconds. If you're enjoying this video, please like, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And a shout out to my current channel members. If you'd like to support the channel going forward, Click the join button below to find out more. Let's get back into it. As of right now, reflected ailments, such as the ones caused by the Fulcrum Unique Staff, 
or the Malagaro's Restraint Unique Belt, are not affected by modifiers to ailment duration on you. These instead are affected by relevant modifiers to increased ailment duration for the specific ailment that you're inflicting. For example, poison duration if you're inflicting poison. This interaction is listed as a known bug for Lethe Shade, not increasing ailment duration on you of reflected ailments. But this is also the case for other modifiers, such as the modifier on Malagaro's Restraint, which increases shock duration on you by 100%. This modifier currently has no impact on reflected shocks. These interactions with reflected ailment durations are likely bugs, but it is worth noting that these bugs have existed since at least the Lake of Calandra leak that was patched 3.19, and they weren't addressed in the Crucible League's release. Any other methods of inflicting self-ailments, such as self-chill with the Call of the Void unique ring for example, will be affected by relevant modifiers to ailment duration, such as the one on Lethe Shade. One of the best ways to generally negate the downside of Lethe Shade is to gain forms of ailment immunity, and to use other defensive mechanics to help out against the ailments that you're not immune to. For example, you can gain elemental ailment immunity from the Purity of Elements aura, and you can then gain very strong damage reduction against bleeding from the soul of Ralakesh Pantheon. There are many ways to gain various immunities, such as the bleeding immunity on the Death Store unique boots, or modifiers which make the character unaffected by specific ailments, like the unaffected by shock modifier on the Impulsor's Broken Heart unique body armor. In this case, the ailment will have no effect on you even though it can still be inflicted on you, meaning you may be able to take advantage of other modifiers, like this one on the Malagaro's Restraint Unique Belt, which increases damage while shocked. Alright, so what about the upside of Lethe Shade? Take 50% less damage over time if you've started taking damage over time in the past second. This modifier will massively reduce the amount of damage you take from damage over time for the first second that it's dealing damage to you. It's not specific to ailments, and it will work with any source of damage over time dealt to the character. For example, a character with Lethe Shade gets hit by a monster, and this hit inflicts an Ignite, which deals 8000 fire damage per second. The character has 75% fire resistance, which reduces the damage down to 2000 fire damage per second. Then, for the first second, Lethe Shade's less damage over time taken modifier is active, so the character only takes 1000 fire damage over the first second. However, it's very important to note that this Keystone's modifier will only function if the character has started taking damage over time in the past second, from a period of taking no damage over time prior to this. For example, if a character has Righteous Fire active on them all the time, the only interaction from this modifier on Lethe Shade will be the first second when the character activates Righteous Fire at the start of the map. If the character encounters a new source of damage over time during the map, such as a mob which inflicts bleeding on them, this modifier will not provide its less damage taken modifier, because the character has not started taking damage over time in the past second, as they were already taking damage over time from Righteous Fire. So Lethe Shade's less damage taken modifier will only apply if the character has started taking damage over time from any source in the past second, if they were previously taking no damage over time before that. Once again, this modifier also benefits from various immunities to things like Ignite or Ground Damage Over Time effects like Burning Ground, because the more sources of damage over time you restrict, the less likely you are to encounter these sources, and therefore the less damage over time taken modifier will be functional more of the time. Flask modifiers which remove and grant a duration of immunity to damaging ailments such as bleeding, poison or ignite are very useful because it's often the case that these sources of damage over time will be repeated many times through various packs of mobs in maps. So being able to cleanse a long duration damaging ailment and then gaining a lengthy period of immunity is a strong option to have in combination with Lethe Shade. One of the best use cases for Lethe Shade is in a controlled environment where you know the sources of damage over time and the ailments that can be inflicted on you. Therefore, the Keystone is incredibly powerful when used on bossing characters as you're able to identify which immunities you require, if any, 
and you can use the keystone to massively lessen the impact of large boss damage over time abilities, such as the Shaper's Beam. Overall, Lethe Shade is a powerful keystone which provides exceptional damage reduction against damage over time, buying you the time you need to be able to react to it. The keystone is considerably weaker when there are many variables, but it can still be used to good effect even during mapping on a character that has many layers of avoidance. The best use case for Lethe Shade is likely on a bossing character to largely mitigate encounters with heavy damage over time effects, such as the beginning of the Shaper's Beam, or standing in the degen puddles in the Maven arena. That's it for this one. If you want to stay up to date with all of the goings on on this channel, you can join the new Discord server, the link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned and stay safe.